Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. You are here for reflections, which is another kind of transformation. Our essential question today is how can you use reflections to describe new coordinates of the image? And remember, image is just the new figure that you make. Today, you are going to need something to write with, but especially your pencil. Your Jaguar jots, it should say 2.3 at the top and reflections. And always bring your growth mindset with perseverance and some self-confidence. So let's get started. Let's begin with some definitions. A reflection is a transformation that is a flip. So it's also a reflection. So if you think about when you are doing things with your phone and uh, the handwriting is backwards, that would be another example of a reflection. A point or a figure is reflected in a line called the line of reflection. A reflection is a mirror image of the pre-image. So that's what I was just talking about. So remember, if you are doing some kind of video with your phone, you'll notice that the handwriting usually is in reverse. That would be a mirror image. Or for example, when I'm doing these videos, sometimes I have to remember if I'm looking at something, it's backwards to me. So it's a mirror image. Each point in the image and pre-image is the same distance from the line of reflection. Okay, and when we say distance, they're always measured at right angles. That's really important so that we're all going to the same part or to the same place. So it's measured from the point to the right angle to the line of reflection. And the image has the same shape and size as the pre-image. So if you remember back to what we did before, shape and size means that it is congruent. So reflections are going to be congruent. So let's get right into this and look at some information about X line of reflections that are X axis, Y axis, and Y equals X. So those are going to be our major line of reflections. We can have other ones. And when you get into high school, you will be working with those. But for now, we're going to deal with a X axis line of reflection, a Y axis line of reflection, and a Y equals X line of reflection. So when we look at an X axis line of reflection, that means we are going to reflect across the X axis. So the points are going to be equal distance. So that means that this point here and this point here are equal distance to the Y axis. So we're going to take the opposite of the Y coordinate. So in algebra, what does that mean? Well, in algebra, it means that the X, we have X, Y, and that the new coordinate, the X is going to stay the same, but the Y is going to be the opposite. So for example, if I had the coordinate, um, let's even look at this one. Let's say that this is at, that is too small for my eyes to read. So we will make a number up. It looks like it's about negative three, um, we'll say that's four. The new one, this is going to stay the same, but the opposite of four is negative four. Okay, let's look at the y-axis. So if in the x-axis, we did the opposite of the y-coordinate. In the y-axis, we're going to take the opposite of the x-coordinate. So in this case, we are going to start with x, y, but this time x does the opposite and y stays the same. So we did the opposite. So we went around the y-axis, that's this one right here. And if this was my x, I am that far away from my x-axis. I am this far away from my y-axis. And now I moved over here, and so I have to be this far away from my y-axis. So let's see what that actually looks like. So we'll say that that x is a negative eight, and it was up five. Again, I can't see what those are, so I am estimating. And then I have to do the opposite. So the opposite of negative eight is a positive eight, and it's still five high. So the y equals x. So y equals x axis is that diagonal. And on this one, they both change. So if this is my point here, and there, that's my point there, both things have to change. So we're going to switch the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So it was the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And then 
the y coordinate goes in the x coordinates place and the x coordinate goes in the y coordinates place. So if we take, we'll then make this one our first one, okay? So this one's going to be our pre-image and this one will be our image. So in our pre-image, x was two and y was five. So now y is, or x is five and y is two over five and up two. Again, I estimated those first points because I just cannot see what they are. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some examples now that we know how this works. So on this first one, we're going to do, so let's first do across the x-axis. So to go across the x-axis, that means we're going to reflect across this part right here. And all of the points need to be equal distance from this green line right here. So let's just start with what our original points are. So I'm going to go ahead and name our points so that they're easier to talk about. So A is the point 2, 1, B is the point 4, 1, and C is the point 4, 4. Now we want to know what's the rule. So when I'm going across the x-axis, what's the rule? Well, they're still going to be as far across on the x, it's the y that has to change. So x is going to stay the same, but the y coordinate changes to the opposite. So if you remember before, we have to name them as primes. So we're going to have a prime, b prime, and c prime. So all the x's have to stay the same and all the y's have to change. So this was one away, so it's also going to go one away. So this would be a prime. B is one away, so it also has to drop one away. So it's B prime and C prime was one, two, three, four. So we're going to go four away. One, one, two, three, four. So there's C prime. And so we're going to do this in two ways. We're going to double check the rule as we're looking at the picture. So A is the point two, negative one. And if I did the opposite of one, I also get negative one. So that worked. Four is the point four, negative one. One, two, three, four, negative one. It worked there. Opposite of one is negative one. It worked. C prime should be four, negative four, because I'm going to do the opposite of this. If I go across, I go four and then one, two, three, four. It worked. Good. So now I'm going to use my straight edge to connect those lines. And there's my reflection across the X axis. So the vertices of the image. A prime is going to be two negative one. B prime is going to be four negative one. And C prime is going to be four negative four. Y axis. So to go across the Y axis, that's this axis. And now I had to be equal distance. So I'm not going to do any of the bottom. I'm going to just do the reflection to make sure we see where it's going. So it's one, two. So I'm going to go one, two. It's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to do that one, two, three, four. And it's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And I'm going to label them. This one's A prime. This one's B prime. And this one's C prime. And now I'm going to use my straight edge. And there's my new image. So now let's go ahead and walk through this part. The vertices are still the same, but now the Y stays the same and the X is the opposite. So the X changes, but the Y stays the same. That is exactly what I'm showing so far. So the two would become negative two, the four would become negative four, and the four would become negative four. Is that what happened here? Is A the point negative two, one? Yes. Is B the point negative four, one? Yes. Is C the point negative four? four. Yes. So this is right. A prime is the point negative two, one. B prime is the point negative four, one. And C prime is the point negative four, four. So the last one we have to do is the Y equals X line. So that's this one. And remember, we have to go at a right angle. So that means coming straight at it like this. Everything has to be equal distance. A little bit more difficult to do. That's why knowing the algebra behind it's a little bit easier. But let's go ahead and write down all of the vertices. 
So let's name it A, B, C, and D. And we can always add in vertices names whenever we want. So A is the point, negative 3, 4. B is the point, negative 2, 3. C is the point, negative 3, 2. And D is the point, negative 4, 3. So the rule said we're going to switch the x's and y's. So our new coordinates are going to be y, x. So let's go ahead and do that now. So our y's are now going to be our x coordinates. So let's just write them down. This is going to be 4, and then this will be negative 3. This will be 3, and this will be negative 2. This will be 2, and this will be negative 3. And this will be 3, and this will be negative 4. So you just switch them around. So let's talk about, though, how do we draw it? So remember that I told you about having tissue paper, patty paper, um, some kind of see-through paper. So I'm going to kind of walk you through this. So this is our Y side. This is our X side. And we're going to trace this. A, B, C, D. Put dots on it. And we have to flip it over that line. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flip it over and line it back up. Did you see that our X's and Y's switched places? X's used to be on this side and now they're this way and our Y's did too. And the better we line it up, the better this is going to work. So what we did is now the graphite's on the other side and when I trace over it, it's going to leave A, B, C, a little bit of a trace. And this was A, this was B, this was C, and this was D. So here was A, here was B, here was C, and here was D. So I like showing that because you can actually see why this works. There was no way on that small one I could show it to you. So is A, which was here, did that end up being the point 4, negative 3? Over 4 and down 3? It sure did. And B, 3, negative 2. Over 3 and down 2? Yes, it ended up being there. And C, 2, negative 3, over 2, down 3, yep, ended up in the right place. And D, 3, negative 4, D, over 3, and down negative 4, yes, it did. And so that's really nice to kind of verify that it worked. And so there is our image. So let's talk about these over again. So A prime is 4, negative 3. B prime is 3, negative 2. C prime is 2, negative 3. And D prime is 3, negative 4. So today, what did we do? Well, today we focused on reflections. How do we move things around the coordinate system by reflections? So again, that is by taking it from being here and then reflecting it or turning the paper over and putting it someplace new. So what I would like you to do today is I would like you to try and reflect this figure right here across the x-axis and the y-axis. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember to be kind to each other because we can always use a little extra kindness in our lives. And I can't wait to see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.